Hello there, um, it is me again. Uh, you might be wondering where I am right now, or you might not be, but I'm uh, actually in amongst some trees in a secluded location in pitch black darkness. Um, and it's pretty damn cold tonight. Uh, I didn't realize it was this cold until I stepped out the door. But anyway, um, just a little bit of news sort of to tell you about. Um, yesterday, was it yesterday? No, not yesterday, Thursday, the day before yesterday, I uh, had to call an emergency ambulance because I've been having like some severe pain down my left side of my body, down the side of my chest. Uh, agony, I could hardly move like. And um, basically, I thought I was getting a bit better. And then I went to bed one night and I was only asleep for like an hour and I woke up and the pain was like way worse and, I, and then I, I don't know what happened but I, I felt like I couldn't breathe and um, it was terrible uh, I didn't know where to put myself basically so um, I, I phoned the crisis team and uh, they told me to phone the 111 service so I phoned them but the problem was I could hardly speak either because I was in that much of a distress and pain and stuff so I, uh, I phoned the 111, but that was hopeless because it, it said, we're very busy right now. And uh, they were asking, is it, is it really that much of an emergency and everything? And it was a definite emergency. And um, so they were doing all this stuff about the current, you know, the pandemic stuff and um, questions about that. So I, I, could, I wasn't in a fit state to deal with all them questions, pressing buttons and numbers and everything. So I hung up on that and I phoned the crisis team back by accident actually I hit the wrong button or something anyway and they told us to phone an ambulance so I phoned an ambulance instead on 999 and um, uh, I somehow had to manage to get out of bed because I couldn't actually I wasn't even sure if I could stand up or anything I was uh, I, could, I literally couldn't keep still I couldn't hardly speak and all the rest of it I was in a right mess and um, anyway somehow I managed to get up and uh, Answer the door when the ambulance came, it was a high priority ambulance, uh, so they sent it pretty much straight away. And uh, the crew came in and checked us out. And as usual, because I've had the ambulance out a few times in the past, and over the, a few months ago as well, uh, they put the uh, little ECG stickers, you know, the little suction things, all over your body, your chest, your stomach, your, your legs, your, um, your ankles, and your. I think that was pretty much it. I don't think they did they put my wrist. I can't remember. They might have done. So I was covering them little sticky things again. So they do the ECG thing. Because they always think you're having a heart attack or something similar. I only mentioned anything to do with your chest and pain and everything. But I knew it wasn't that. I told them when I got there it was nothing. I says it's not that. And then when they checked us over, they says I think you are right. It's, it wasn't that. And it was uh, muscular. I think down the sides of my ribs and my sides. But I don't know what the hell I did. But as some of you might know, I've, I've got these other things going on, like like these attacks, like paranormal stuff. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's what originally caused it, but I'm pretty sure that that added to it, shall we say. But um, apart from that, I'm not sure, because it felt like it was getting a bit better, and I went to bed, and I woke up in such a state, the pain was it went into my shoulder and everywhere. So, yeah, I don't usually like to phone the hospital or the... Or emergency services but this was an emergency so I had to do it so um, I've been prescribed some strong painkillers but I'm not sure if I'm gonna take them because I don't know when they're gonna turn up and also um, the doctor told asked him if there was any specific side effects with these things and he said I think that he said the narrow your arteries you know the main arteries in your chest type of thing I was like oh that's not good he says, no, but that's just if you use them long term. Either way, I don't like the sound of that. So, I might not be able to take those, I don't know. He's going to send them out anyway. So, we'll see what happens. Um, but apart from that, I didn't have to get rushed into hospital or anything this time. Like the other few times I went, when I had the ambulance team out. 
uh, so that was alright. Bruh, I didn't get much sleep that day. I'd only had an hour hour sleep when that happened, and I just had to have little bits of sleep on and off during the day. So I was pretty much knackered. <laughs> and uh, I was supposed to be doing me washing that day, that all got cancelled as well. So it wasn't uh, wasn't good, but it could have been worse because um, I could have uh, had to go in the hospital and I hate going there after the last experience I had there. Um, so, but anyway, I'm still having all these um, we had pain things all over my body, it's my, it's my feet, my chest, my back, my hands, my legs, just about everywhere, you know, my crotch as well, everywhere, it's bloody murder. Um, so I, um, I'm still like stuck, I mean, I'm stuck in limbo because I don't know what to do about it. Um, it's lucky I'm able to do this video, to be honest with you, uh, because I'm having trouble doing the videos as well of all the pain and stuff and I haven't been able to walk too far recently because me, me feet, especially my right foot, is killing us most of the time so I can only walk so far uh, things have been done to me feet on top of the pain I've already got I mean some of the injuries to me feet well probably because I've walked a little bit too far here and there but uh, the other things that's going on I think are adding to the pain on my feet well I don't think, I know it, I know it is but um you know, try try telling someone that it's hard to. It's it's difficult because most people don't believe you. So what do you do? You know what I'm saying. So, so this was just a little update um, on what's uh, been happening. I usually don't like to, you know, put like a lot of personal stuff on me YouTube videos. Like, no one wants to hear about your ailments and stuff. Usually, you know. So uh, usually I don't. But I thought I'd I'd mention it because I'm. I'm still having trouble doing the uh, videos the way I would like to do them and stuff and some of the ones I would like to do I can't actually do at the minute because of all this and stuff um, so it's kind of tricky so so um, anyway like I say I'm at this uh, secluded location here uh, I'm surrounded by trees and um, wildlife and everything I guess but uh, I don't think there's any um, like uh, psychopathic killers or anything. I used to hope not near us right now. I, don't, I can't hear any. There's anyone here or anything. I don't think there is. Um, so it should be okay. Um, but um, so I hope you are all doing better than me out there. Whoever's watching this video. Uh, and I must point out. Also, I did. A, um, some of you might remember. I tried to give away Rocket Man starring. Um, Taron Egerton, I think he's called, about the Elton John thing, Elton John's life story or some of it, on DVD, and nobody wanted it apparently. Isn't that just marvellous? So I might try a few more giveaways at some point, but if nobody wants any of me giveaways, then um, <laughs> that's that's not too great, is it? So I might have to quit doing them if nobody wants it. The, the, the things I'm trying to give away as a prize, you know. But if anyone still would like. Rocket Man on DVD about Elton John. Just give us a bell. I'll let you have it for free without even having to answer the question. Okay, just get back to us if you would like to win Rocket Man star starring Taron Egerton about Elton John on DVD. Okay, and you can have it for free. The first one to message me on Instagram, and my Instagram ID is Ghost of a Chance 33. So if you message me on there, the first one who comes through to message me about it, but just say uh, you want uh, you want the Rocket Man DVD, and the first one that comes along, I'll send it to you. But you have to live in the UK, okay? Because I can't send it overseas at the minute due to uh, me tight budget and all that. Okay, right. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget this. Give this, give this a little like if you enjoyed any of it and all that. And uh, I'll catch you all later. So, turn off for now. Bye now.